Hi, I just got back to the seminary after doing ministry work at my parish, and I have about an hour until the Super Bowl sucks up the rest of my evening. So here goes nothing. My name is Kyle, I'm a Catholic seminarian, and I am becoming a deacon in 13 days. Hello. I imagine some of you may have been a little thrown off seeing me wearing the whole Roman collar getup. And well, just to clarify, that's something that we seminarians, when we're at the theology level, the last four years of se seminary, we wear this uh, at class and when doing ministry. So I was at my parish assignment doing ministry, so I was wearing that uh, today. And I just got back. And so I guess I'll be talking about ministry and clerics and looking like a priest even though I'm not a priest. Yeah, I think that's what I'll talk about today. Also, I would like to have a little shout out to my friend Anna, who was in town all the way from the West Coast here, seeing the city with her mom, and we were able to see each other after working at the church. So that was great to see a friend from back home. While I was waiting for Anna in one of the uh, parks in the area, I was just sitting there with my clerics. I had some time to do some prayers, so I did that, and this homeless man came up and approached me and obviously recognized me as some kind of man of God or whatever and he just started talking. It became very apparent that he had some kind of mental uh, illness or some kind and I just, ha just had a smile and nod and try to understand what's going on with them. I really couldn't and yeah that's something I kind of struggle with still is what to do with people who are mentally ill last year I did hospital ministry, uh, kind of doing chaplaincy work, and every once in a while I would, count, I would encounter patients who would have those kind, of, uh, those kind of issues, and on top of whatever health, physical health things, what's going on for, to have them in the hospital in the first place. And it was just one of those things where they just keep on talking and talking, and you try to make sense and listen, and you really can't. So, I don't know, hopefully I did something well for that man. On the way back here, there was Hopefully this is not a TMI thing, uh, but I, literally on the way back to the seminary, I was taking the metro and I just had to use the restroom. So I decided I was going to go off a couple stops early because I knew there were public restrooms there. So I go and I'm thinking, God, this is kind of ridiculous. And I hope there's a, I hope there's a reason for you bringing me to this random stop instead of me going back to the seminary because I have a lot of work to do. I find the facilities and I, and I step out and literally right in front of me, there is this young kid who comes up to me and says, hey, you look like you're, you're a man of God. I'm kind of hungry. Can you, I'm looking to get for a meal to eat. And it kind of struck me as unexpected, I suppose. So I was, I was looking around and I was like, hmm, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what God wanted me to do. Get me off my train so I could help this kid out. And the whole idea of feeding people is just something that I'm trying to really identify with, especially becoming a deacon of taking on that role of service. And we look at scripture in the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The, the first deacons were those seven men who were set aside to care for um, the least of the community, to make sure that the goods and the food are distributed at the proper times, to serve a table, as it were. So I'm saying, hey, as a deacon, I am entering into an order that was established to feed the people who need food the most. Was I being naive to drop $20 on a ridiculously large meal for this kid? I don't know. Hopefully some good comes out of that. So those were some random encounters I wasn't quite expecting today. I guess kind of a byproduct of walking around in clerics. I suppose there are different schools of thought on you know, what, how appropriate it is to wear clerics and what every, whether you're be trying to assert your position or try to have some kind of superior place because of you're wearing distinctive clothes. So this is something I really reflected on when I was doing the chaplaincy work, as I mentioned last year, of thinking that, especially in a hospital, there's just all this physical stuff going on, all the, the bodily things. And it's very clear that the doctors and nurses are working hard to care for the patient as they are in their body. But oftentimes there's real spiritual need. And that's what I hope to fill just as a, as a chaplain, but obviously I can't see all the patients. And so I figured just by being there in clerics with the collar, maybe that'd be a reminder that there is space for the spiritual uh, when a lot of bodily concerns are going on. And at the same token, some people are turned off by that and, and that kind of 
goes both ways, and I'm willing to accept that. I'm well aware that the Super Bowl is coming up, and it's probably going to suck up the rest of my evening. I feel like I'm obligated to be there, since I am from Washington State. I should support the Seahawks. And chances are, by the time this video gets up on YouTube, the game would have been over. So this is probably a moot point, but I just want to go on the record saying, go Seahawks. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.